Evening guys, welcome to the Milks and Monsters channel and in this video we are going to do Chrome. Okay, what we're going to do, so to start with I've covered over half the face because I want I want to try the first technique on there and then I might have a go at a different technique on the other side so I just wanted to keep the other side just in case I wanted to do another test so what I normally do when I'm doing graphite metal in is you've got to get a nice glossy especially when you want you want shiny metal like chrome then I'm going to start off with two coats of the Vallejo gloss black so I'll do a first coat, let it dry, second coat, next layer I'm going to do then two coats of Liquitex gloss medium and then it's going to be a case of get the graphite powder and I'm going to start rubbing it in and buffing it up and that's going to take a process that is probably best why I'm only doing half of it. Um, this is a this was a misprint when I'm doing my models I normally print extra ones normally i'll scale them down a bit um just so i can practice things before i go and paint the main model you can see there it had a misprint on the fep um but i just let it finish and i thought i can use this as a test as a test subject right you can see gloss black loaded up into the airbrush i've got a 0.5 nozzle in because i'm just doing a wide area base coating nice and steady you want a nice even coat I'm not going to start crying if it's not completely black because the second coat will get that the most important thing that you do is to get a nice even coat nice and smooth Second layer will pop there. They love this first layer to sit on. Okay, so it's one coat on. I'm gonna let that dry for about 45 minutes, and then I'll go over it with a uh, with another coat, and then we'll start with the gloss layers. Okay, what we're gonna do next on the next one, guys? I've actually ended up putting I've actually ended up putting four four layers on. And one thing I've, that I am seeing. Is the little imperfections in the cat in the print? So I think when I do this side, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a good sanding down first to get those smooth edges. Because you can see there's like little. You can see the sort of where the printing's gone. And you see little faint lines on it and things, which I could sand out, but I didn't. But that's fine. This side's purely my first attempt. Well, not my first time. I've done. I've done graphite before, but. Not on something this size. But yeah, I'm going to sand it on the next one. But for this stage, for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about two layers of this Liquitex gloss medium on. Um, and hopefully, I'm got, what I'm trying to do is just add some shine to it before I go into the, um, the graphite. So I'll get the airbrush loaded up and then 
We'll get to it. Okay, so now we've got the airbrush all cleaned out. What I've done, I've mixed the Liquitex Gloss Medium 50-50 with water. And then I'm just gonna mix it up and you get almost like a like a milky consistency. I'm gonna put that in my airbrush. Put that in, clean my pot straight away. I'm going to do about three layers of this. So, exactly the same process with black. I'm just going to do a nice thin coat all the way over. I'm going up and down, and the next coat will go opposite to it. My cross at it. So it's got a bit of a shine to it. I'm going to do a few layers of this so that I can build that up. Okay, so there's it's not much to these layers, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put about another four layers on this, and then we'll come back to it and uh, and have a look. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, you see I've sprayed half black, the gloss black. Well, it's got a Terminator Harvey Two-Face going on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off this side, and then I'm going to spray this side in Vallejo Mecha Primer White and then I'm going to go over the top of that um, with about same on that side I ended up doing about four coats of gloss spray so same again I'm going to do this side white four coats of gloss spray um, and then what I'm going to do I'm going to see if what I like better whether I like the white side with the graphite powder or the black side because it does make a slight difference on the uh, type of me metallic finish you get um, and I want to get it the close to a chrome that I can. So there goes spraying white. Okay, so I'm done now. You see, I've masking tape the black side off, so I can start painting this side white. I've got my Mecha Primer white mixed with 50/50. Airbrush thinner. Um, that's in the airbrush. So what I'm going to do is just put multiple thin coats of that. Um, it's white primer. So just you've got to be patient with it and build it up. Um, don't try and put it on one one big thick loopy layer because it will just run everywhere. White is probably the worst primer you can use. I hate doing white primer, but if you do it right, it's all right. So I've loaded it up. You see. Mix up in there. I'm going to go thin layer. First coat is probably going to be really naff. I just want to see what the difference is. Like I've watched, I've seen people do these sorts of videos with the graphite powder, but I want to sort of see it for myself. Get a bit of a cloud, open the window. Rookie mistake. <clears throat> and so I'm going through lifting, just going lift back, 
lift back. I'm not keeping the nozzle on not permanently. As you can see, that's where the mist print happened. Um, I ended up with some resin setting on the bloody screen. Um, managed to rescue it, but I've got a screen protector on the uh, printer anyway, so in just case I just peel it off, put a new one on. Uh, but that's what it caused. Somehow some resin managed to get under the feb. It was literally a little, just a tiny little piece on the, uh, I mean, you like that. Just a tiny little bit of resin that's uh, on the screen, but that's what it caused. But I always run, I always run a practice one anyway. What I normally do when I'm, when I'm printing, I'll do a, normally a scaled down version of what I'm making to have a practice on. Alexa, fan on. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll fast forward me spraying this and doing my layers. So you watch me do the black one, but I'll speed this one up again. It's the same process, but I'm doing white. Okay, so what I've done, I've got four coats of the Mecha Primer White. Um, I'm already leaning towards the white. I really didn't want to because I hate priming white. But the details really stand out more with the white. Um, I mean, the proof's going to be in the pudding once I do the... Uh, once I get the graphite powder on, see how the chromas look, but... I'm already leaning towards the white just because it really shows the panel lines a lot better. Um, now with being a Terminator, obviously I want it to be quite a light chrome. Chrome job, really shiny. Not ridiculously shiny, but a good chrome job. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put four, four coats of the gloss medium, just like I did with the black. Um, I'm going to do that now with this and uh, we'll come back to it and start on the graphite powder in. Okay, so I've got my the right hand side is four layers of white, four layers of uh, gloss medium. On the other side, exactly the same, except we've got the uh, gloss black base with four, four of them and four coats of gloss medium you see they both got a bit of a shine to them yeah what I want to do is I'm now going to go over graphite powder so this is graphite powder I got this off uh, remember, Amazon or eBay about 18 pound but that's the making them that I've got okay quite expensive stuff but it does go a long way and you see basically it's kind of just basically ground up pencil lead graphite what you do with this is you apply it and you're kind of rubbing it in and buffing it and you constantly buff and buff and buff and buff it, this is a just constant repetitive process that i'm gonna have to do but to apply it in the small pieces in small areas i've got cotton buds and um, what I've done for the application, I've got uh, wet wipes which I've purposely dried out on radiators just so that they're nice and dry, nothing to them. Um, you can use makeup application pads, um, but unfortunately the wife hasn't got any to steal, so I haven't got any. So, what I'm going to do, put it like that. I'm just going to get some on the, on there. And then I'm going to just start rubbing it in a circular motion. Looking to get it all over, rub it in, 
and I'm going to just keep buffing it as I go. I'm going to give it a light coating to start with and then I'm just going to keep building it up. See it's getting that silver. I'm going to give it a light coating to start and I'm just going to keep adding to it, buffing it, adding to it, buffing it. It's a powder so it is going everywhere but all I'm doing is just catching it back again when it drops, just reapplying it. On the black side, I can see it's keeping that sort of black, almost like a shadowy tinge to it. And see the difference. You can see the top side's got a really dark sort of sheen to it. I mean, this is just the first run over. I'm going to be doing about three or four passes on this. And the white side is really starting to buff more into a chrome. The black side more either a, a sort of murky chrome or a, quite a murky silver. You can see that white side is really popping with a chrome. All I do with these pieces inside is I'll get them with the uh, hot muds. See, like most things, you want to make sure you get a nice even coating throughout. At the end it wants to look like it's been actually coming out better than I thought on the white side. Really see the difference that still looks awesome. That would make a really cool gunmetal um grey or um a weapon or something like that. Anything that was really high quality still. Um, but the white side is really going to chrome. And you can see because of that gloss coat I did beneath, it's still there. Everything's got a cool sheen to it, a shine. I'm just going to keep buffing and buffing now. Unfortunately for me, it looks like I'm going to be going with the 
the primal white base because already I can see that's more the effect I want to go for. That is still awesome, but just not for this application. If I was doing any sort of robot, normal robot metallic, I'd go for that. But the T800s are more a chromey silver. And that's more what I'm getting this side. Over what I might do. What I may do, I'm thinking about, is doing the inside of the eyes black. Doing the inside of the eyes and the inside of the nose are inside parts. Like that. Which will give it more shadow in with it being inside the eye. Metal. Really don't. Hmm. They both look amazing. I'm going to keep buffing and see if it comes through a bit more. I mean, this is getting so shiny, I'm even starting to see reflections. <laughs> He was starting to get reflections in the actual metallic. Obviously when I do the real thing I'll put some tape over the teeth because I'm going to uh, do a bone job on them. I mean you can see minutes it's already coming out. But I, I love both sides, but that is the effect I'm going for. You can see though, but on the actual proper model, I'm going to sand the resin model down before because as you can see, you can actually see all the, the sort of mold lines and bits inside. Um, so on the proper one, it's going to get completely blitzed with sandpaper, fine sanded. This is purely just so I can get, I just need to know which direction I was going to go with the metallics. Um, I think I know now though. This is just where you got to be very methodical now and just have patience and just disciplined and just go with it and keep going and going and going until it's perfect. Just keep boffing get into those tiny little to reach hard to get to areas and really go into them go to town on them spend time on it don't rush it the little details that make things pop I'm using one side of the cotton bod to basically apply it and then I'm going to switch the other side to buff it in. doing this 
I think I've watched Terminator 2 about three times already since I've been doing this. Whatever I'm making, I like to get into the spirit of it. So while I'm doing this, I'll watch the Terminator movies. When I did the Mario Kart model, I was playing endless amounts of Mario Kart. It just helps me get in the mood and, you know, have a, a love and an appreciation for what I'm doing. So I can fall back in love with things. You see, this side's really like, I mean, it's gloss, it's shiny, but it's almost got a matte look to it. Whereas that side, with the white. So excited to see this sort of whole thing done in this. Still gonna buff it more. But I, I think, but I know now, but I think that it looks amazing. It's just not the finish I want. That is the finish I want. Just keep buffing and buffing and buffing and you'll, you'll literally see it just start to sheen and shine and Like that is a proper nice chrome. Maybe that's how it's come out in what ten minutes. Moving on, we're going to be putting multiple layers on this for about an hour so all I'm going to do is keep following the process that I've been doing and I'm just going to keep adding more adding more adding you know, a bit of powder rub it in and then buff 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 in like crazy for about 15 minutes add another layer put a bit more powder on buff for about another 15 minutes and that's what I'm going to try now and I want to see just how crazy this chrome can actually get. And then uh, we'll have another look. Two hours later. Okay, so been buffing now for about two hours. Okay, so I mean you can see the difference on this. It's like the more just when you think it looks great you put another layer on and you buff and buff and you get this whole new layer of awesomeness um i think i've got it to the point where I, that's i don't need it more than that but bear in mind that's about an hour and a half to two hours of buffering that is every 15 minutes i was basically adding putting more a bit more powder rubbing it all in and then buffing buffing for about 15 minutes another layer of powder buffing 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 again and I've, so I'm about, I'd say seven coat, powder coats in. Um, but the difference, I kind of abandoned that side because I knew that's not the effect I'm going to go for. Um, that's the side, I'm, that's what I'm going to go for. I mean, that chrome is just, I mean, the base coat affects this graphite powder. And you can see, so this is with the black side, that's with the white base. Um, I mean, it's literally day and night. Uh, what I am... 
what I'm thinking about doing when I do the actual piece is spraying it all white, but spraying the inside of the eyes, the inside of the nose black. So I'll get that darker effect, which will show shade, like the shade there. Um, but I'm extremely happy with the result. Um, I'd love to see if you guys have a go with this and uh, try buffing and chroming some stuff up. Um, please like and share. Uh, if you found this helpful, give it a share, banging on things. Um, but thanks for watching, and I hope that's helped you. Ciao.